Hey, hey, everyone. I am super excited for the lunchtime tip of the day. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Kimberly Lee, affectionately known as Coach Kim. So I hope that you can see and hear me today. I dropped my phone, so my screen is cracked. I'm not too happy about that, but believe in God for a brand new phone. So y'all keep me in your prayers. Um, so with that being said, let's talk about the lunchtime tip of the day. What do you do when you hit a wall? And let me reset here quickly. My name is Coach Kim. I am the CEO and facilitator of the group Redeemed You, which is right here on Facebook. If you need any pertinent information about who I am and what I do, go to Breakthrough breakthroughwithcoachkim.com. Um, I am taking speaking engagements for 2017. I am a published author of On the Brink of a Breakthrough and Brink, uh, On the Brink of a Breakthrough and Bridge to Breakthrough, excuse me. Um, and you can get both of those tools to serve you in your journey of, of personal development at amazon.com, okay? So with that being said, um, for speaking, for coaching, um, anything of that nature, I'm your girl. You can go to breakthroughwithcoachkim.com and sign up there for a complimentary uh, coaching session. Um, and you can also fill out a form if you need a speaker. And I have my speaking points on my website. So you know exactly if what I have meets your needs for your conferences, um, anything of that nature. Okay. So now that we have the administrative stuff out of the way, let's talk about what to do when you hit a wall. Everybody that's jumping on right now, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to be connecting with you guys today. You guys, you have a hat on um, that I borrowed from my sweet mama because it's cold in Vegas. Yes, it is. All right. So with that being said, what do you do when you hit a wall? What do you do when you feel like, oh my God, where do I go from here? What do I do? All right. This is not an exhaustive list, but it is um, some, this, this is some things that I feel like will help you. So number one, we, we've been talking about being excellent where you are. Let me recap. Let me recap that from yesterday, being excellent where you are. Number one, believing that God is for you. If you're going to be excellent where you are, you've got to have a made up mind that God is for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody that's joining in live right now. Um, believing that God is for you, receiving God's best for you, okay? And believing the best about God and the best about yourself, all right? And then doing your best, giving 110% where you are, all right? That's how you're going to be excellent where you are. Now, if you've hit a wall, let's move into today. You've got to make it up in your mind um, that the word of God trumps your emotion and your environment. The word of God trumps your emotion and your environment. This is a significant paradigm shift that I had because um, there have been times since I've moved that I've really been in my feelings about some things. But if you're going to remain in your feelings, you're going to stay stuck. OK, you have to allow the word of God to trump your emotions and your environment. And as you say yes to God on that, the Holy Spirit will come and minister to you and strengthen you. OK, so that's number one. Number two, get clear, get clear about what you want and where you're going. If you hit a wall and I heard this very clearly today, if you hit a wall, you need to get clear about who you are, your identity in Christ, who you are as an individual, get clear about what you want and where you are going. All right. Especially we, we have what, 30 days left within this year before 2017. Get clear. I want to encourage you, um, take on improving your personal development, take on improving, um, being prepared for opportunity and take on, Hey Judy, thanks for joining and take on mining out your purpose. All right. If you've hit a wall and you want to get clear, get clear on those three things, personal development, developing yourself personally, get um, some preparation techniques so that you are ready to meet opportunity when it comes and mine out your purpose. What am I here for? What am I good at? What do I like? What do I don't like? I have girls. So I'm always talking to them about girls. You can find out what your purpose is by what you don't like and what you do like. 
that's a good place to start, all right? And then you can build on that. So those three things. And if you want to know more about those th those three things and how they can help you, I want you to join me on my webinar on December 17th at 10 a.m. It is a $57 investment, and we are going to learn some things that are going to launch us into 2017 prepared and ready for what it is God has for us, okay? So with that being said, if you hit a wall, be, learn to be excellent where you are. Sorry about that, guys. Learn to be excellent where you are, all right? Know that you have got to make a decision that, you know what? The word of God is going to trump my emotions because let's be real. We get in our emotions and we're all over the place. But the word of God is going to trump my emotions and the word of God is going to trump my environment. OK, so you've got to make that choice. Next, get clear about who you are and what you want. All right, I got a lot going on today. Um, get clear about who you are and what you want, what direction you want to go in. All right. Not just because it's a new year, but make it a lifestyle, not a bucket list or a, a New Year's resolution. No, make lifestyle changes. That's what I'm doing. OK, so now the next thing is get around other people that inspire you. You know what? That's OK. A lot of people say, oh, don't don't get around other people. Um, you're just copying them. You just want to be like them. No, you know, I have found strength and I've gained strength in being around other people. Um, that inspire me, get, go to places, get around people, do things that inspire you, that, um, encourage you to get in a place that you're not necessarily used to. Sometimes we get in slumps because we are in the same old routine, doing the same old thing. And so boom, we hit a wall and we don't know how to get around it. We don't know how to get through it. Go do something that inspires you. Okay. Hey, everybody that's joining in. Um, so now we're moving along if you've hit a wall um that's so good isn't that good go go get inspired go do something go get around somebody that inspires you get out of your same old routine okay and a lot of times life happens to us and we have no control over it right i want you to change your perspective what can i learn from this all right even if it looks the same what can i learn from this all right a lot of times that inspires us and journal, write it down, all right? What can you learn about an unfamiliar situation? A lot of times when you hit a wall, that will help you too, all right? So with that being said, next, I want you to take care of, I was talking to my daughters about this the other day. A lot of times we're going along in life, going along in life, boom, we've hit a wall. Why? It's that personal development piece again. But I like to, I like to call it this because this is what the Bible calls it. It's the small foxes that destroy the vine. It's the small foxes that destroy the vine. What are those little things within us that agitate us, that we don't like to deal with, that we don't like to do? Those are, those are what the Bible calls the small foxes. And they come in at night, they slip in, they nibble away at the vine, and we come back and the fruit is gone. What happened to the fruit? It's because we didn't want to personally develop in areas. And now when we've hit a wall, thank you for that heart. And now we've hit a wall and we don't know what's going on. It's because we didn't handle the small fox. What could a small fox be? A small fox could be, man, gosh, I'm always late and I need to get better at that. Man, oh, I said that again. I slipped off and said that again. I need to deal with that. Hey, John, thanks for joining in. I need to deal with that um, so that when I get to the place that I'm destined for, I'm not dealing with small foxes in my character. All right. I was sharing with my daughter. I said, you know what? It's not a parent's job to keep saying the same thing over and over again. It's just like how God gives us tests. The teacher is not mean as some big ogre saying, you know what? You're going to take this test because I want to be mean to you. No, it's because I want to prepare you for your next level. All right. And it's the same with us as adults. God is saying, take care of the small foxes so they don't destroy your vine. More importantly, they don't destroy your fruit that you've worked so hard for. You've come this way. I want you to congratulate yourself for 2016, how far you've come, how good you've done, how great you've done. Even before you get into making any resolutions and goals and any of that, I want you to stop right now. And I want you to congratulate yourself for how far you've come. All right. I'm excited about that. Can you tell? Woo! Glory to God. See, I'm super animated, but it's okay because I'm being who I am. Now, praise God. So take care of the small foxes, guys. We're going to take care of the small foxes so that they don't destroy our vine. Remember, those are the things in our character that maybe they agitate us. Um, they make us upset. Don't just look over that stuff. 
stop and say, you know, what, what is this that, that's bothering me? Why don't I want to take care of this? Why don't I want to handle this? We cannot conquer what we don't want to confront. And there's a way to go about doing it, all right? I don't want you to beat yourself up about it. I want you to take your time and work through it, all right? And ask God to help you get rid of the small foxes so that they don't destroy your vine, your work, your productivity, your personal development, or your purpose, all right? So now the last thing is pass the test, okay? Again, like I said, tests are given to us by our teacher not to hurt us, to help us and to help promote us, all right? Some of us listening here today um, live and on the replay, you're like, why am I going through this? God, what is going on in my life right now? Hello, okay, I get so far and I hit a wall. Pass the test. I wanna encourage you today, pass the test. It's being given to you for a reason, not to hurt you. I want you to change your perspective and pass the test, all right? If it's your mouth, your attitude, dealing with your money, um, dealing with people, pass the test so you can move on. And another reason why you want to pass the test is not only for promotion, but maybe it's your light. Maybe it's your scar. Maybe it's your problem that is going to help and encourage someone else down the road. How can you help someone else if you're always stuck in a position of taking the same test over and over and over again? Hello, somebody. Come on. It's time to mature. It's time to grow up. And even as adults, we feel like I've arrived. I don't have to deal with that. That's who I am. That's where I am. Deal with it. Booyah. No, that's not okay. Okay. God doesn't want us to stay immature in certain areas that he knows is going to hinder us. All right. So pass the test. If you hit a wall, pass the test. All right. Now, lastly, um, if you've hit a wall, I don't want you to look at your insufficiency. I don't want you to look at your insufficiencies. All right. I want you to look at God's all sufficiency. Okay. If you hit a wall, because if we look within so long, at our insufficiencies, we will get discouraged. Thank you for those hearts, love. And remember, guys, if you um, are being encouraged by the lunchtime tip of the day, like and share the video. Let's get the word out. Help me get the word out and build other people up. This is what I am called to. This is what I am passionate about. My purpose in life is to build other people up. Why? Because I've been torn down so long, so much, and the enemy wanted to keep that from me. But once God revealed it to me, all right, I'm on track. I want to build other people up so that they can construct the lives that they were truly designed to live, all right? And I'm not some superhero, but I'm following God step by step. And that's why I get on Facebook Live every day to encourage you and to build you up because that's what I'm designed to do, all right? So with that being said, don't look at your insufficiency. I want you to look at God's all sufficiency, okay? You start looking at all of your insufficiencies, man, you're going to be in the corner somewhere crying and upset with sackcloth and ashes on your head. We don't want that. All right. So look at, <laughs> look at God's sufficiency, his all sufficiency for you. God loves you and he wants you to come to him. Okay. So with that being said, um, I read this today and I want to share it with you. It says, when God wants to reveal himself, he'll put you in a position you can't answer so if you've hit a wall if you've hit a wall i want you to take this into consideration and you can't answer what's going on in your life god's put you in a position of problem or complication where he wants to reveal himself to you all right so i want to put that on your mind before i go as usual and as always god bless you and i love you guys and i will talk to you soon that is today's lunchtime tip of the day if you've hit a wall remember if this has encouraged you, it's blessed you in any way, like uh, the video and share it out with your Facebook family.